There it is. Check it out today, starting uh, starting about 54 minutes ago. Deb, thanks for coming in the studio. We're talking Avalon Lodge and the big things you guys are doing for the community. First of all, if nobody knows where the Avalon Lodge is, what you guys do, it's tell us where it's at. It's behind the Rebar Museum, as we like to call it, <laughs> just behind there. So give it, give the viewers a view, an overview of what they can expect. Sure. Well, of course, right at South Lake Tahoe at State Line um, on Manzanita. It's between uh, the lifts and the lake. And um, it's a perfect little niche. It's a quiet little area. We have a preserve behind us. And um, the rooms are all renovated. They're contemporary mountain. They're all very warm and comfortable. Fireplaces will heat your room in the uh, winter. Very nice. And um, we've kind of made it just a, a niche place for people who expect high-end service but don't want to pay for, for being slip side. All right. I can, I can enjoy that. <laughs> Do you guys have a tagline yet? Because between the lifts and the lake, that's catchy. It's that's our, a good one. <laughs> hey, I like that. I might yeah. have to take that. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> So you guys are doing a great program for the community. It's called Avalon Lodge is doing it every single Monday, giving back. Tell us all about that. Well, the program itself is Make a Difference Mondays, um, and it's part of our Gratitude is Key. So the Avalon Lodge believes that gratitude is key, Clay Hospitality, our parent company. Um, so one of our programs that we've just launched is Make a Difference Mondays, where we plan to give 10% of our proceeds every Monday to a charity. And how this works is we need people to nominate their favorite charity, who they want us to donate to. So you can go right to our website, avalonlodge.com, and um, you can click through. You'll see where to nominate and put your charity that you'd like us to donate to. We're going to do that promotion through the holidays, and then we're going to take the top five of all the uh, recommended or nominated uh, charities, and we'll let the community vote on which one. Um, we kick it off in, we end it in, in uh, March. We kick it off in April with a two-night free stay. All the proceeds go to charity, and then 10% of Mondays ever, from then on go to that charity. And so how are people going to know how to vote, where to vote? Is that going to be through your website? You're going to have a contest built into that? How is that going to go there? Yep, it's all there. Go there right now. It's okay. avalonlodge.com. There's a big marker right on the front that says nominate your charity here. And you can read about us. Um, when you do that too, we have lots of other fun things going on on the site. Is there a list of charities that you get to choose from or can you nominate any charity within the Any community? charity you want to nominate. I can tell you that we are looking for 501c3s. Um, but and it doesn't it can be a global charity it can be a national charity we'd like it to have some impact locally okay and then so we hear a lot of buzz about the Avalon Lodge obviously with this coming up what are some of the other fun happenings we were talking about Bloody Mary Mondays <laughs> usually that's Sunday but hey they like to have fun at the Avalon Lodge so let's start it off on Monday well the weekends are busy and, and there's a lot going on so we decided to kind of extend it and have a little fun um, and we actually have a lot of people stay over on Sunday nights so Monday mornings we're gonna have a Bloody Mary bar with lots of great fixings we start that next month we're in the last uh, few days of getting our liquor license awesome and um, we also have stars stripes and sipping coming up which are um, several days of events where Tony Bear Darren's coming in with um, stargazing and he brings a couple of players from the Reno Philharmonic. We have mm. chefs giving some appetizers and we have uh, wineries coming um, like Maison Marc and Domaine which is uh, Roderer and some other ones coming up serving their wines so it's going to be a fun evening. There's about 10 of them, a couple are sold out already but there's about 10 of them throughout the uh, fall and early winter um, and we do have not just packages but we have come to the event locals only without the sleepover. So. Oh, okay so a lot of things happening between the lifts <laughs> and the lake and then you also talked about your hotel the Historian Inn in uh, Gardnerville right now completely mm -hmm. booked out you guys do an awesome rate for vendors at the candy dance are you gonna be going down there and enjoying some of that I'm actually heading there right after this um, and we did we put up a lot of the vendors for the candy dance we feel it's really important to be in the community no matter where our hotels are and uh, so therefore the make a difference Mondays to know a candy dance it's supposed to be a blast out there yeah what better way so um, <laughs> information was on your screen if you want to be a part of this Go to avalonlodge.com to nominate your charity. Deb, thanks for coming in today. Thanks, Mike. We will be right back with more Tahoe Today.